The first thing I want to cut is the background for our ladybug or love bug. Uh, what I have to do is just press the ladybug button because it's this particular cut here. If I were going to cut this one or any of the top images in any of these little squares, I would need to press shift first. But in this case, I only need to press the main button. So let's do that and we'll cut the background of this bug in black. For this first cut, I'm going to cut it at three and a half inches, and I already have it set at three and a half. If I wanted to change it, I would move this button here up or down to put it to the size that I would like it to cut. Uh, over here is the pressure button and the, I'm sorry, pressure's on the bottom and speed's on the top. I have speed all the way up and pressure all the way up. This cardstock I'm using is fairly thick, so it really needs that. Um, okay, so now all we need to do is press our R5, row 5, and over to 3 for our little love bug. And then the ladybug, or love bug, is going to come up in the screen. And there she is. So I will go ahead and I'm going to move my uh, blade over just a tad. And then you just use these little buttons here to do that around the edges. Then I'll press cut. Okay, it's all finished. So all we have to do is go ahead and unload our paper, or we can move on to the next part of our love bug, and that's what we're going to do. All right, now we're going to get a little trickier. We're going to cut out this piece here, and to do that we'll need to press layer 1. And this is still the ladybug, so we still have to press the ladybug button, but you have to press the layer button here, layer 1, first. Now remember, if we were going to cut the heart, we'd need to press the ladybug the layer one and shift to get the heart to cut out. Okay, but we don't need to do that right now, so we're just going to do the ladybug. So I'll find the layer one. It happens to be up here at the top. Let me zoom in a bit. All right, so layer one and not the shift because we're doing the lower piece. So, and then just the ladybug button again. So there we are with the R5, three. And now the ladybug is going to come up in the screen. Yay, ladybug head! We did everything just right. So now let's cut her out. Okay, so to cut the ladybug out, I'm going to hit load paper actually, and it will take us back up to the top. You could also hit line return. Well, I can't do it now, but I could have, and it would take you back up to the top as well. Um, we're going to move over, if I press the button hard enough. Okay, there we go. Now, you see we've just got our two different kinds of paper in here, and we just move the blade over to do the cutting we want to do. So now I will just press the cut button. We're ready to go, and we'll cut out the ladybug. Okay, we're all finished. That was simple. So now we'll hit unload paper and take out our images and see how they look. Oh, this is super cute already. Here is the ladybug. This is the base. So there she is with her cute little antenna. And here's her face. And you can see this partridge is so great. It goes ahead and makes the face for you. So you don't have to be good at drawing. And you also don't have to put up with a lot of tiny pieces. Now these pieces I need to poke out. Let me get something to do that with. This is a little quick cuts poker. It's got a pokey end on one end that I've kind of bent, uh, and then it has a little glue type end on this end. It's good for picking things up. You can also use it to punch things out, so that's what I'm going to do. Uh, if you, you don't have to buy something like that, but you should have a pair of tweezers somewhere, so you can just use tweezers too to push that out. All right, and then I'll just pull it out of the back. All right, you want to see something really cute? Look at that. Oh, it's coming together! Yay! We're not done yet, but it always amazes me how quickly this looks like you really have made something. You know, we just cut two things, and we already have it coming together well. Yay! All right, well, let's go cut some red parts. Believe it or not, we're almost finished. All we have to do is cut this part right here. So the layer two part, and no shift again, because remember, shift is only when you're doing the top. So uh, this is a really quick little guy to put together. He is just adorable, or she, as it might be. So let's go ahead and press layer two, and I want to show you something I've done. I went ahead and put some red paper in here, and I put it right in the middle of the mat just to freak you out, and also to let you know that you can put the paper anywhere, and you don't have to hug the corner, so put it wherever you're comfortable. 
All right, so we're going to press layer two. That's up there at the top. And then we'll press the little bug button again. It's that one. And now our image should come up in the screen. Yep, I see it. All right, so now I just press cut. Okay, that's it. Now we'll unload the paper. Oh, isn't that cute? Now all we have to do is glue the little things together. So I'm using a Zig two-way glue pen and I'm just going to put some glue on the back of this. I'm kind of making a mess, but I'm working around the camera here. Okay, so that's pretty good. And now we'll just stick it down. Oops. <laughs> Let's stick it to myself. Okay, pretty good. And then I'll do the other piece. Okay, I already stuck some of the Zig 2-way glue on the back of it. And isn't that cute? So now we just, we're gonna glue this part down and then we'll put the heart right in the middle. I'm gonna go ahead and put some glue right on that heart. There's a little outline already on here for me, which is nice. Boy, I did make a mess, holy cow. All right, that's okay. Oops. Okay. <laughs> I'm having an off glue day, aren't I? Okay. There we go. Looking pretty good now. Much better. Okay. There we are. And now I just need to put some glue on the back of that and we'll have a little love bug. I like to use my ATG gun, so I'm going to grab that because I like the Zig for small things, but it's not really fast enough for me and I'm always having to get more glue out of it, apparently too much, but let me get my ATG. We're bringing in the big guns. Okay, so here's my ATG gun. It looks heavy, but it's really not as heavy as it looks. And you just, oh, sorry. Well, I was trying to make it look easy and then I messed it up. But what I wanted to show you was you just press this in and then you pull back and then the glue comes out and it's pretty simple. Uh, I use a Scotch Gold. Um, Right, I think that's what I had in here. Maybe I don't have that in here now, but uh, tape to go in it. And you, they now have a pink one out, a pink ATG gun. You can get that at Michael's and a lot of different places have that. It's really cute. Kind of wish I had that one, but I really don't need another one. I've had this one for a while and I love it. Okay, look at that. Isn't that cute? You can do this. Look how simple that was. Yay! She can fly away now. Bye! Ah! So that's how to do some simple layers using the Create a Critter cartridge and a Cricut. I hope you had a good time learning that. I also wanted to show you that I've got some lots of pun stamps, some stamps that I made that go along really well with the Create a Critter cartridge. So if you go to joyslife.com, you can take a look at these on my products page. I think I'm going to use the cute as a bug for her. Even though she is a bug, I still think that's really cute. Okay. I hope you have a great day and come back and see me at joyslife.com. Bye.